Okay, good morning students. So before we will start our class for today, requesting everyone to please stand for our opening prayer. Please bow your heads and let us pray. Dear Jesus, please show me how to spend this day sharing your love in every way. Help me to be kind to everyone, to play and love and have lots of fun, shining your light and giving your grace, sharing your joy with a smile on my face. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen.
baba, baba, baba. Dig it, dig it, dig it, pow! So thank you for your participation. Please be seated. So before we're going to have our attendance, I will introduce myself first. So I am Mary Gray S. Panchado, your teacher for this subject. And now, Let's have our attendance. Stay present if you're here in the class. So, Katabihan Artia Joy, Kawaling Chelsea, Gansa Jasa Kate, Gansa Nova. So, she's absent. And Gidai Farabel. And now, let us have a review about the topic that we discussed last week. So, Jasha, can you recall what is our topic last week all about? So, very good. It is all about the parts of the body. So, Chelsea, can you give me two examples of the parts of the body? So, thank you, Chelsea. So, before we'll be going to discuss our lesson for today, can you tell me what is our weather today? Who wants to answer? So, Altea Joy, what is our weather today? So, very good. It is sunny day. The next question is, what parts of our body is used in seeing and hearing things? So, please stand. You're right. So, the parts of the body that we use in seeing and hearing things is our eyes and our ears. So, from those questions, what do you think is our topic? For today all about so please then very good so our topic for today is all about the sense organ so later on we will know what are those sense organ so now let me read the objectives before we're going to proceed to our discussion. So first, identify the sense organ of the body. Second, appreciate the importance of each sense organ of the body. And lastly, Give the function of the five senses of the body. So let us have our activity. For me to know your prior knowledge about this topic, the sense organ. So I will give you first the direction of this activity. So these are the pictures and these are the senses. So the direction is place these pictures in their corresponding senses. And I will paste it here in the board.
pictures on the board. So first, this is a dog. So the sound of a dog is arf arf. So second, this is a garbage. And the third one is an ice. The fourth one is an ice cream. And the last one is a rainbow. So now, let us have our proper discussion about the senses of our body. So, we will know how many senses do we have. So, we have five senses of our body. So, before I will be going to paste the five senses of the body here in the board, I will give you first the, a brief de definition about the sense organ. So, the sense organ is a specialized organ that helps us to perceive the world around us. So, the first sense organ that we have is the eyes. So, do you know where your eyes are located? Very good. So, our eyes are located here in our head. So, eyes is the sense of sight. So, we can be able to see through our eyes. So, through our eyes, we can see many things around us, such as a book, um, the weather, and many other things. So the second senses that we have is the nose. So our nose, it is a sense of smell. We can smell anything through our nose. So such as um, it is either a good smell or a bad smell. So the example of a, of a good smell is a perfume, and the example of a bad smell is a garbage. So the third one is our ears. So the ear is the sense of hearing. The ear allow us to hear sounds. Just like a loud sound or a soft sound. So an example of a loud sound is the airplane taking off. And the example of a soft sound is if your friend is whispering to you. So the fourth one is the thumb. is a sense of taste. It helps us to know how food tastes. It is either um, bitter, sweet, sour, spicy, and many other tastes. So the last senses of the body is our skin. So the skin is a sense of touch. It helps us to know how things feel. So, it's either the things is rough, hard, or soft. So, these are the five senses of our body. So, after our discussion, what have you observed in your answer in our activity a while ago? Is it all correct? Or not. So let's check it. First, the sense organ that is facing here is ears. And the picture that is facing below is a dog. And the dog is barking. So is it correct or not? Very good. Is it correct? Because 
the dog produced a loud sound that we can hear using our ears. The second one is the sense organ is the nose. So the picture pasted here below is a garbage. So it is correct because we can smell things through our nose. The third one is the eyes. So what do you think? Is this picture correct here in the sense of sight or not? So, you're right. This is not correct. Because the eyes is a sense of sight. We can be able to see things through our eyes. So, the correct answer for the sense of sight is a rainbow. Because we can see a rainbow through our eyes. So the next one is a sense of touch or the skin. So is ice cube correct here in the sense of touch? Yes. Very good. The ice cube is correct here in the sense of touch because through our hand, we can be able to identify if the ice cube is cold. And lastly is the tongue. So, is this correct? Yes, it is correct because we can be able to taste the ice cream to our, through our tongue. So now let us have our application. So, I will divide you into three groups. The group one, group two, and the group three. So, this is our application. So, the direction is write a short function of each census that is given here below. So, the sense of sight, the sense of hearing, the sense of smell, the sense of taste, and the sense of touch. I will give you five minutes answering this. Write your answer in your paper. So, um, pick a only a one representative per group. So, time is up. So, before we'll be going to end our discussion, I will give you an assignment. So, direction, answer the question below and write it in your assignment notebook. So, the question is, how are you going to take good care of your sense organ? So much for that. Thank you and goodbye students. See you around. Bye-bye.